Welcome to another edition of Yes, We're Here. I'm Meredith Morakovitz, along with Yankees manager Aaron Boone. Aaron, it's been a little while since we chatted. What's been going on in the Boone household? Wow. Um, well, school, trying to get some workouts in, um, Zoom calls. Uh, we've been having a, a organizational kind of Yankee Zoom call every day to kind of go through our player objective stuff and um, trying our best to stay busy and stay up to current with what's going on, obviously with the pandemic and um, cooking, tr figuring out, you know, dinner plans every night. What are we going to do? Uh, a lot of mouths to feed around here. So uh, just trying as best we can to, uh, to make the best of the situation. Now you mentioned the zoom calls with people in the organization. I spoke with Tim Nearing yesterday and he said, even though there's no baseball right now, he feels as though he's been incredibly busy. Can you just kind of take me through the day to day for you right now? Yeah, so we, we, we've been doing these calls now. We're into our third week where we're doing it every weekday. Um, you know, a, a lot of front office members, myself, the coaching staff, strength and conditioning training staff, where, you know, we do our player objective meetings to start spring training, but typically we don't have a, a chance to go through those, see where we're at on those, where we're, you know, tightening screws on anything, um, kind of a progress report where we, we get together all, as an organization. So it's been something that's actually gone really well um, that I feel, feel like has been productive. And I feel like everyone for the most part, you know, with probably 20 to 30 people on those calls where um, it's been a nice, where guys have, have been focused and, and I feel like they've been productive meetings and, and hopefully allow us to be, you know, just a little bit better and ahead of the game when we come back. Is there something during one of those calls that's opened your eyes a little bit? I know you have a great handle on all your players and the organization, but when you're in the midst of a season, you can't do those deep dives. So has there been an aspect that you really kind of enjoy that has helped you evaluate players even better? Um, well, I like to think we still continue the deep dive as the season unfolds. What it what it's a chance to do is really get everyone from front office, scouting department, analysts, myself and the coaching staff, strength and conditioning, um, trainers, where we're all like going through a particular player's objectives and and hitting it from all angles and like, okay, what's the action plan? What's the game plan? Are we making progress in a, in a certain area of a, of a player that we've addressed? And then getting everyone's instant feedback from a scouting standpoint, from an analytic standpoint, from a strength and conditioning and training standpoint. And I feel like in that way, it's been very productive because we're all hyper-focused on that in the moment. Because of the question marks surrounding the season right now, does it change the way you look at players at all? Um. I don't know if it necessarily changes. I mean, you know, in our case, obviously we, we had some injuries um, in, in spring training and, and it's a chance for those guys to continue to heal and be more a part of the early season conversation potentially. Um, but I don't know if it's necessarily changed. It's, it is, a, like I said, a chance for all of us from hitting it from every different angle just to hopefully have a more airtight process as we move forward. You mentioned the injuries. Everybody wants to know. The fans constantly ask, where is Aaron Judge at right now? Is he healthy? He's in Tampa. Um, you know, we're, we're using this time. He's using this time to, you know, continue to heal. I don't really have much more for you other than, um, obviously, it, it's been very productive having the chance to have this time to allow that rib to heal, and, and, and that is happening. Um, but as, as a, where he's at exactly, we don't have anything for you on that yet. How about John Carlos Stanton and James Paxton, two other ones that were injured during spring training? Yeah, John Carlos doing, doing well. Um, he's still reporting in Tampa and going through his rehab and, um, you know, he's, he's doing really well. He should, when we get ready to go, he should certainly be ready to, to be back and, and part of things. Um, James Paxton's done great. Um, you know, feel really good about um, the decision to go ahead with the surgery. And, and every step of the way, um, it, it's gone pretty smoothly for him. I think he threw his maybe fifth bullpen 
uh, the other day and, uh, you know, continues to report that it, it's going really well. So really encouraged where James is as well. I was going to ask you, have you taken any trips up the road to play catch with guys like Garrett Cole and Adam Adovino? Yeah, we did pens yesterday with Otto and Garrett, and, and they're both doing really well. And, you know, physically they're, they're in a good place uh, as far as, you know, workload and keeping their arms going and hopefully putting them in a good position once we get going. Because you have to communicate in a different way and you can't see these guys day in and day out, have you learned anything about some of your players because of the way you've been forced to communicate? Um, I don't know, because even though it's different for this time of year, obviously, you know, this is in a lot of ways how I communicate with them in the winter. You know, it's, it's through text message. Um, Zoom's a new thing for us. So we actually last week did a, did a Zoom call with uh, me and the coaches and staff and, and all the players, or at least most of the players. It wasn't a mandatory thing, but we had probably 40, 50 guys on the call. And, you know, it was a little bit of a, you know, state of the union, I guess, from my standpoint. Uh, and, but, but it was more a chance for guys to get on and, and just talk smack to one another, see how everyone's doing, see everyone, I think, which was, was cool for everyone. Um, I know they have their different FaceTime and video game things that they do together, but it was good to get on and, and see those guys and have Tommy come in and, and, <laughs> and be silly on there. So that, that was fun to do uh, for, for all of us last week, I felt like. As the leader of the squad, what was your message during that Zoom call? So just an update from my standpoint, kind of getting a feel for how guys are doing, um, you know, just encouraging guys to – to stay ready and more just checking in and, and kind of looking at everyone, you know, all of us and a chance for guys to maybe ask questions or, um, you know, it was more of a casual, uh, fun call with, with, you know, hopefully a few nuggets in there as well. Who had the most creative zoom background and who had the most trouble getting onto zoom? Um, well, I would say, well, on our daily um, organizational calls, Nevin is pretty pretty creative with his backgrounds. Uh, PJ Pelletier, so, uh, he's pretty creative. I'll give you one of mine that that uh, that I enjoy that I keep joking. And when we come back, this is what I'm this is what I'm going to look like uh, <laughs> when when we get done with the quarantine and get back to baseball. So that's actually a, a app that Luis Sessa had last year you know the old the old person app where he could age you and so he did that so I've kept that picture so that's been my background a few times that I kind of enjoy so um anyway I like you know. it I like it but we hope that you'll be back soon and, and you won't have all that extra extra yes. years and extra stress on you we don't want to see that Aaron <laughs> no no we don't want to see that but you know such as life. Hey, before I let you go, yesterday they announced the punishment for the Red Sox in their 2018 sheeting. What did you think of that punishment? Did you feel as though it fit the crime? It's, I, I don't know, you know, who, who knows exactly what went down. You know, I, I, I do trust that MLB thoroughly investigated and, and got to the bottom of things as best they can and, and feel like if that's what was come up with, then, then that's so be it. Um, you know, it's time to, to move on. And, and I'm glad that, you know, we're kind of through those situations. And, and hopefully, as I've said all along, and I do believe this, um, hopefully just as a sport, we'll be better moving forward. And knowing that, um, you know, you, you, you mess around and, you know, they're coming for you. And, and, and I think that's a good thing. Aaron, as always, thank you so much for the time. I hope you and your family stay safe. Thanks, Meredith. Take care.